Well, welcome to the Sunday preview for Sunday, December 20th. We're just a few days away from Christmas and boy, do we need Christmas this year. But this Sunday we read the great gospel about the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel coming to the Blessed Mother. And we're reading it from the Gospel of Luke. The angel Gabriel <clears throat> was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has already conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. But we have this beautiful gospel of the angel appearing to Mary, the beginning of our salvation, where Mary is enlisted by God to be the mother of his son and the beginning of that great work of redemption, saving the world. And the angel says to her, hail full of grace. And he says this to this young virgin girl. She's a virgin and that means that she's attached to no other. It means that she's totally available to God. And it's something that God is gonna do, that this child is gonna be brought about by the Holy Spirit in other words, totally the work of God. And this work of our redemption, of saving us from sin, is something only God can do. And the world's in such a condition that we can't fix it. We can't repair it. It's not gonna be human strength or wisdom that's gonna solve our problems. It's gotta come from God. And at the same time, God needs somebody to collaborate with him. He needs a cooperator. He involves us in that work of redemption. He brings us into it and gives us a share in it. That work of God needs us to say yes, to cooperate with him. And that's the way it works in the life of every one of us, not just on the big global scene of God saving the world, but he needs us to say yes to his action in us. He needs us to say yes to his effort to make us full of grace as well, to change us. He needs our partnership. And very often, maybe we obey the commandments, we go through life trying to be decent people and be good and observant, but we don't give that free full, yes, I am the handmaid of the Lord. We don't really give to God that cooperation. We more or less just slog through. Mary was able to give everything because that's all she was looking for, was to partner with God, to be part of his plan. And maybe we can learn from Mary that, a full, free, total, yes to God. And that's what make, makes Christmas possible. It allows God to be born into the world. It allows God to work through us if we give a total yes 